Well, just moments ago, folks, we crossed into the Norman County line. So, yeah, not like we have anything exciting to bring about yet, but... Yeah, it's just some more fields. Yeah, it looks like another green elevator up ahead. Yeah, maybe I'll make a series of shorts, you know. It's your choice. Yeah. You're the one doing the report. Of course. Just what you want to see in Minnesota. Farmer fields. Oh, yeah. You think that it shows something better than it? I promise that one of these days we'll actually try to record something cool. One day of the summer, mm -hmm. doesn't matter what's going to happen. With that state park up, uh... Oh, yeah. The one close to home there, what's that one uh, called? Buffalo, Buffalo State Park? Yeah. We're going to get there one day. Yeah. And we're going to record. Yeah, I, I can't promise when... It's going to happen this summer, promise you, man. Yeah. As long as everything continues to work out, we will make it happen. Let's go through. Alright. Show our peeps what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pearly already? Huh. I guess Pearly was... Pearly was like... You thought I was further away, right? I was always told it was like 45 minutes away. Huh. Unless that was Halstead, I was thinking. Maybe that was Halstead you were thinking. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Population huh. 92. Not unless I'm turned around on... What cities where? Huh. Could I, be. I just kept thinking Pearly was further out. Yeah. We just, oh, speaking of Pearly. Yeah. We just got done entering Pearly Gates. <laughs> yeah, we're in Pearly, the Pearly Gates. Yelp. That's the joke Rick always said when we came up here to scrap and try to get ourselves into trouble. Yep. He'd always make the joke, yeah, we're in the Pearly Gates, man. That kind of stuff. Yep. Oh, the post office over here. Not much to it. Huh? Yeah. Fire station over here. And that Pearly's pub. Yep. Well, that's two thirds of the requirements to be considered a town. <laughs> years ago, and this is probably about three, four years ago. Yeah. One of the guys that I know at the antique store. Yeah. You you met him before you know him. Uh huh. Uh, he bought a piece of land out here. Yeah. And wanted to pay me to tear down the house that was on there. Huh. He said, I don't care how you do it, just I want the house down. Huh. But then I had to find a way to haul away the old uh all the material. Oh. Uh. And I didn't have a way of doing it, so I had to pass on it. Damn. And he was gonna pay me good money to do it. I just didn't have the way of the means to haul stuff away. If you would have handled that end of it with some kind of a dumpster or something. If I, if I did it, I would have had to get the dumpster and all that. And then all uh, he he wanted me to quote him a price, but then I would have had to get all that there, do the job before I got paid. Yeah. And I couldn't afford to do it. Yeah, that tends to be a real pain in the arse. And that's what I was hoping he'd come up with like half right away. Nope, wouldn't do that. Yeah, all I can say is, damn. I told him I said, I'll get rid of it in an awfully quick hurry with very little, uh, very little ways to be hauled away. And he's like, yeah, what are you thinking? I said, gas in a match. <laughs> so I'll burn it and whatever's left over, I'll haul that away. <laughs> then he said, well, you know, there's a foundation and most of the house is brick. I'm like, Crap. <laughs> he still don't have to haul away a lumber. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, I do. And then he was all worried that I was gonna actually light it on fire. <laughs> oh. Like what? That's what we that's what we do when we're white trash. <laughs> that's the truth. Oh, Howdy, okay. get the gas and gas and a lighter, gas and a match. Now, of course, if you were in Canada, you'd almost, and you had to do it, let's say, a barn tearing down. That's like a pastime in Canada. Uh -huh. I think so. 
What cold-blooded Canadian wouldn't want to tear down a barn? I'm sure I could name a few. <laughs> Hell, I'm an American and that sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm just destructive. I just want to burn something. Ma'am. But only if it's legal. Like, even if it's not, I want to burn something. <laughs> What's the fun in doing something if you ain't going to jail or getting a ticket? <laughs> Gotta have a good story for it. There is no such good, uh, there's no such, uh, how do I put it? There's no good story that ever starts with a salad. True. It's always over a beer and a, when a good story so. Yeah, good stories always seem to involve the beer. Uh, you see, one day when we were in the park. <laughs> I was drinking with this one gal. I actually did that once. What's that? You know that where you were, used to work the Red Bear? Yeah. There's that little park there? Yeah. I rode my bike in Fargo, right? Yeah. I took some aluminum cans in. Yeah. Yeah. Native American girl sitting there at the gazebo. Yeah. And I was riding my bike and come up and said, hey, mind if I sit with you? She, yeah, I don't mind. She comes up and starts pulling miniatures out of her purse. 40 ounce of Mickey's, <laughs> which is malt liquor. Yeah. Pulls out a couple other little things here and there, and she comes up and goes, You thirsty? And I'm like, Yeah, how do you know I'm thirsty? She's <laughs> taught Dale, it's humid. She said, I figured you would be. So here we were sitting there drinking on miniatures and both sharing in on a 40 while we're sitting there. No, you didn't give a crap. I had no idea who she was, but we're sitting there drinking. And it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And no, you didn't give a rip. Planning on getting ripped, but... It was eight days later, her picture was plastered all over the news. For B&E. Oh, it was, yeah, B&E. Theft charges, a bunch of other stuff. Last I heard, she got two years upstate because of it. Ugh. Just sitting back on, yeah. Maybe I should pick my friends just a little bit better, eh? <laughs> oh. Then you're like, nah, why give up on a good tradition? <laughs> Haven't been known for good decisions yet. Why would we want to start now? <laughs> oh, Too old to start changing our ways now. <laughs> old habits are hard to break, eh? <laughs> True. Down there, tiddly wings. Yeah. Just a few houses. And who wants to see another one of them on our video? <laughs> you see, you did. Do, you and Mom got a burger for me while you guys were out earlier, right? Yeah, we were at the frying pan. Huh. One downtown Fargo. Yeah, that's cool. I was going to leave you out of it. Well, I have three. Fun. I figured if, she's, if she wants me to take her out to eat, you're going to get something out of that deal anyway. I appreciate it because sometimes I have a hard time choking down the food at work now. You have so much of it, it gets old. Yeah, very old. You figure I'm going to go through that castle and put up with her crap, and I'm going to have to eat. Oh, you're getting some out of the deal. Much appreciated. If you don't mind a double cheeseburger and fries. I can always live with that. I believe that's what I got. Huh. Either way, I can... To you, that's what I told her. Either way, I can appreciate it. I wasn't sure what to get you. Well, I'm not complaining. I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, you're backhanding me. Oh, speaking of which, your new shirt sign in West Fargo. Ah, good. One of Sanford and Sons? Oh, yeah, I gotta show that off when I get a chance. Flying across the loop. Yep. I'll stand if I know whatever happened to that last one I had. That's why I ordered you up this one. Yeah, like, that's really driving me nuts. Yeah, it's not the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, let me just 
Cowboys butts. Cowboys butts drum, you know. Hardy har har har. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this one out.